So hi everyone, this is a quick little time lapse of a commission that I did um, of an adorable little Westie called Bobby who unfortunately isn't with us anymore. I was commissioned to do this piece and I absolutely loved drawing it um, and I thought that I would make it into a time lapse and give you a little bit of a voiceover just on a few things that I did in the drawing, how I approached it and just to show you really. So here you can see me starting out with the nose. Um, I usually, my portraits either start out with the nose or the eyes or the ears. Um, I don't really know why, I think it's just kind of a bit of a focus point rather than starting with the fur. And I always work on that point outwards, so you'll see I work on the nose outwards. I did actually initially plan to do this whole piece in pastel pencils because he's a really fluffy dog. Um, but I soon changed that and I'll talk about that in a moment. So the nose is pretty much done purely in pastel pencils. I use the Faber Castell um, Pit Pastels and also the Derwent Pastel Pencils as well. So as I said for the fur, I was planning on doing it in pastel pencil and I started doing it. But then I just kind of thought that I wanted to add a few more colours. And this was because the reference photo was really bad and it basically was just like a big white blob. And I thought, okay, I'll kind of use my knowledge and try and add a bit more colour into it. So I decided to go in over the top of my pastel with my um, coloured pencils because I have much, much, much bigger range of coloured pencils compared to my pastel. This is something that I try not to do in my work. Um, I don't really know why, I just don't really enjoy mixing the pastel and the pencil together. But for this one, I think it worked quite well. And pastel is a really, really good way of getting down a base quickly. I know that a lot of artists use pan pastels, which are basically pastels in a pan instead of a pencil. Um, and they're really good for backgrounds and things. So you can see me um, pretty much just building up the fur. I'm still using pastel at this point, um, and I did pretty much for the whole of the base layer of the fur, and then I went in and added all the colours over the top. His eyes, unfortunately, were quite covered as well, um, which isn't really the best because I really like to focus on the eyes because they say that the eyes are the windows to the soul and all of that jazz. Um, so they, are, they were covered, but I just, you know, stuck to the photo. I didn't want to change it all too much. So for the kind of the under his neck um, on his body, I just used my finger just to smudge out the pastel just to create a transition, not like a harsh line. And I made sure to make the shadow quite dark underneath his chin as well, just to create, just to create the separation between his head and his body. So this is where I started going in with my coloured pencils, and this was basically because I wanted to use a purple, and I didn't really have like a nice purple, um, which I knew I did with my coloured pencils. And I really, really love um, that I chose to do this because I think it really just worked quite well. It was a really good way to kind of differentiate the fur in his coat because obviously it's all quite long and fluffy and using coloured pencils, especially really sharp coloured pencils, was an awesome way just to really make those pop. So also because this is a white dog, I really wanted to make the contrast quite prominent. Um, so I used the Cran d'Ache Museum Aquarelle pencil, which I go on about all the time. Um, it's actually a watercolour pencil and the white one is so creamy and it is the brightest white pencil that I have. So I use that quite a lot along with a lot of darks, more so near his like hat area and obviously his chin. As I said, still keeping my pencils super sharp, um, obviously blunt pencils aren't going to be the best for really fine hairs. And around his mouth area, his fur actually did go a little bit brown. Um, so that was actually quite difficult to do, just to blend it into the white like that. Um, but I'm happy with how it turned out, and that was all down to the coloured pencils. So this commission was filmed over a couple of days, um, hence the different camera angles, and I actually battle the sun quite a lot when I draw because it comes right through the window. So sorry about the weird lighting and stuff. So I pretty much just kept tweaking his fur um, until I was happy with it. I just tried to add as many colours in as possible and as much contrast just to create that realism. Around his eye area, I did also struggle with that quite a bit because his eyes were hidden and it's quite difficult to make hairs obviously on top of black. Um, if I was using white paper, I would probably use, the, um, use a craft knife or something to kind of get away the pigment um, and leave a white underneath it but because I was working on brown pastel mat I obviously couldn't do that so I just had to purely use all my white pencils. So when it came to doing his um, little hat on top 
I did use pretty much nearly all pastel um, just because I said it's a really, really easy and efficient way to get down a base color. And pretty much most of the hat was black anyway, so I just used my black, black Pit Pastel, which is my favorite black um, pastel pencil. I just think the color's really um, vivid compared to the other ones I have. Um, and I just, yeah, colored the hat in. I did want to make the highlights on the top of the hat quite prominent because um, it was quite folded and stuff. So I just used a lighter gray um, pastel pencil for that one. And I did actually add in some blue as well because it was a little tiny bit of blue. I think it was like a navy hat. Um, yeah. I did go over the hat with a little bit of colored pencil just to add a few highlights and stuff. But yeah, that is pretty much the finished commission of Bobby. Uh, there's me signing it and here is the finished piece. I'm quite happy with how it turned out and the client really, really loved it, which to me is all that matters. Granted though, I definitely could have changed some things. I haven't got too much practice in doing white fur in that texture with coloured pencil because I normally do all of that with pastel pencil. So it was definitely a bit of a learning curve for me, but I did really, really enjoy it. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this little time lapse. Um, it was quite a quick one, but I've posted some really, really long videos on my YouTube as well. So it's nice to just change it up a little bit. And yeah, so please consider subscribing. I hope you have a lovely day and I will speak to you later. Goodbye.